Welcome to Dora, the Digital Office Requisition Agent, the simple but powerful way to order office supplies. Our home screen shows you Dora, and on the right hand side, all the buttons that you need to navigate around Dora. Dora is your main button to get back to this screen. Anytime you see a Dora button in blue, like you see in the left hand side, you click on that button in any of the fields or any of the windows that you have, that will bring you back to this home screen. First thing we'll do is we'll check our software. When you first load the program onto your computer, click on the system defaults. When you click on the system defaults, it gives you your registered user information. It should have your name, the company name, the address, the phone number, and email and website. The only field that you can change is the sales tax rate. That may change over time, so we want you to be able to edit and use that and modify that without having to contact us. If we want to go back to our home screen again, we'll click on door in the upper left hand corner. Now that we're back to the home screen, let's start with the top right button, the Contacts button. When we click on the Contacts button, that is a giant Rolodex. That is a very powerful Rolodex that allows you to search all the information, all the contacts that you place in your Rolodex information. The important field to remember is that if you're generating purchase orders, the contact type needs to specifically say Vendor. When it says Vendor from the drop-down menu, that will allow you to generate purchase orders and automatically copy that vendor information into, that, into the fields that get populated in the purchase order. Now that we're back to our home view, let's look at the Items button. When you click on the Items button, that gives you the Items table. In the Items table, this is the entire backbone to Dora. This items view that you see in front of you is a giant index card. You're going to create an index card for every product that you order. That way you can keep track of everything that you order in your, in your office or your practice. You notice we have an items information tab on the top, we have an items description, and we have an items history. If we click on the item information tab, you'll notice that we have item information, supplier codes, and you just have to fill in the fields in plain English. You'll notice you have the item brand. Many items have UPC codes, but some don't. UM stands for unit of measurement. We have a discount tier, the amount. The location stands for where you'll place that in your office. In my office, I label my shelves. In my shelves, I've got A through Z and then 1 through 12. The description allows you to search each and every item card that you have by a simple search of description like you would do a Google search. So in this case, you see it says Cook White Carbocane 2% with Neocoperfrin. I just need to type in any one of those words or part of a word, click on the search button, and that will give me that information. If we look at a close-up of the item information, you can see that you have your initial price and your high and low. The initial price is generated when you generate your first purchase order or you enter the information for the first time, and the high and low is calculated from your purchase order history. The middle tab, the item description, allows you to copy and paste the manufacturer's description into that field. The item image allows you to place a photo, and the item web page allows you to click on that little button that you see there and it will bring you right to the web page for that specific item. The tab to the right on the item history gives you your full history of all the purchase orders that contain that item over time. So if we want to do a search for a specific item, we'll go to the item description field, we'll click on the search button, and that will bring up this window. And you'll notice I'm going to type in the word coffee. I'll click on the search button and that will list a, a that will give me a view of a list window that shows me that I have one item found. It says Emeralds, Emeralds Jazzed Up Coffee. The number 464 represents the box on the left, which is the field where if I click on that, it will bring me right back to my item card. And I've clicked on the 464 box or the window or the field if you want to call it, and it brought me right back to the item card that contains Emeralds Jazzed Up Decaf Coffee. Now that will allow me to generate a purchase order, add it to the shopping cart, or manipulate the data, bringing me right back to my item card. I can reset the initial purchase order. If I don't have a purchase order for initial item, it will allow me to set up a purchase order initially, and I can also add, add to the cart. If I click on the initial items button, it brings me to the item to be added to the cart. Supplier will be pulled in automatically from the supplier information if it's there. The product ID is generated by door. The description is your description or the manufacturer's description that you place in the description field. The supplier code will automatically be filled in. All you need to change is the quantity and the unit price. Click on the Add button. That will automatically add that item to the shopping cart. Another simple way is to add it to the cart. If you have an existing purchase order or you have several purchase orders, you can scroll down to the purchase order that you want. In this case, the supplier is a surgical supply, but that doesn't mean I need to buy this supply from well, this item from a surgical supply every single time. It may be Earth Surgical Supply one day, it could be Darby another shine a third time. I can locate the purchase order that I want, click on Add to Cart, and it will automatically bring up a window 
that will allow me to automatically bring in that supplier the description, the supplier's item code, and exactly what I ordered from that last purchase order. I can duplicate it, or I can edit and add the item to the, to the new uh, shopping cart. Your wish list is your whiteboard, it's your pad and pencil, it's your shopping list. So if you have a wish list, that allows anybody in the office to, to tell you what they need to order. What you'll do is you'll select new record in the bottom left hand corner. That will bring up a blank keywords field and you just type in exactly what you think you need. It doesn't have to be exact because the per person purchasing the order will click on the shop button and that will search the field. That will automatically search the database for items that contain those keywords and then you can select exactly what item you want to order. So we're going to click on new record. That will bring up a new record and allow us to, to uh, add any information we want to the wish list. The shopping cart is a shopping cart. So once we've selected items and we've added them to the cart, we go to the shopping cart and we have checkoff boxes on the left-hand side. We can select all of them if we're, support, if we're ordering them from a specific vendor, or we can sort of skip and move around and just collect, select the boxes that we want for a specific vendor. So we'll select the specific box. Then we'll go down to the bottom left button where it says Generate Purchase Order, and that will allow us to generate a purchase order. We'll notice on the right hand side we have a purchase order button. We'll click on purchase orders. It shows me that I have four purchase orders in my list and I can actually see the purchase order that I generated. On the right hand side I have some navigation buttons. I've got a new, delete, find, find all, cart that will bring me back to my shopping cart, wish list that brings me back to my wish list. I can view the actual PO that will be generated by email, fax, or hard copy. I can view a list of all my POs and the receive and sort button are used when I have an item or an item that comes in from my vendor and I can count the items that are there and, and make it automated and simple. If I go to the view list that will show me a list of all the purchase orders that are outstanding by date and by status. So here's a listing of all the purchase orders that I've generated starting in descending order. I have a checkbox on the left hand side if I want to pay it, a green box if I want to enter that information and receive it, and a little blue carrot if I wanted to open up and actually view that specific item or that specific purchase order that shows me the status and the total. So I've clicked on a, a specific purchase order and now I can look, on, look and see the exact purchase order and you'll notice I have five or more items listed and it has all the information about that, the supplier I bought it from, the ship to, this is my company information that's automatically filled in from the preferences and now I can receive and do whatever I want with it but more importantly if one item is missing it will generate a back order report so that I can look and see at some point in time which items are still back ordered and who they're back ordered from. When I click on the Receive button, I get a list of items, line items that you see on the left-hand side, and on the right-hand side it tells me the date received, the invoice number that's attached to it, the quantity ordered, and the quantity received. If the quantity received is not the same as the quantity ordered, it will generate a back-ordered item where it will remain open, and I can receive and I can see that item in my back-ordered list so that I know when I have to follow up, I can call that specific vendor. In the reports view, you can, re you can re look at your reports by line items, purchase orders, contacts, and items. For example, if I go to purchase orders, purchase orders by date, I can place a date range. I can put a date range and I can also select a specific supplier. When I select a specific supplier, it will give me what I've ordered in the open, closed, and paid columns. It gives me a grand total and subtotals for a specific date range by a specific supplier. If I omit the supplier, it will give me that same date range with all the information for all of my vendors with a grand total by closed, open, and paid. This is important because typically businesses run and they know that their suppliers or their supplies that they buy are a percentage of their gross sales and it allows you to keep it track and gauge what you're buying and how much you're spending on a monthly or annual basis. If you'd like additional information, you can call us at Affordable Dental Products, 516-796-6606 or contact us by email at mark at affordabledentalproducts.com. Thank you, and I look forward to hearing from you.